Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to another vlog. I have about five minutes until I have, I think two or three meetings in a row. So I thought I would take a second to get myself ready for the day. It is Thursday, I've taken like the past few days off vlogging. Well, I got a couple clips and I was meaning to vlog the past few days. I just, I was kind of getting back into my routine because I was in North Carolina all weekend. Just like I went for a baby shower, I hung out with my family. So I kind of, when I got back was a little bit out of my routine. So I just kind of took the past few days to be in my routine and chill really i haven't done anything exciting so didn't really talk to the vlog much but i'm gonna bring you guys along on my work day i got up this morning made a coffee walked on my walking pad i ended up walking for like an hour an hour and 10 minutes or so i can walk on that thing literally forever if i have good youtube videos to watch <laughs> like if youtubers that i like have uploaded videos i can literally walk forever but if there's nothing to watch then i do struggle a little bit and i end up watching like old vlogs like people that i like i'll watch their old videos but yeah someone who i recently discovered who i'm liking well she's not new she's very big on social media she's big on tiktok sydney adams i follow her on tiktok but i've never been like super i don't know i didn't consume a lot of her content but then i found she has a youtube channel and i'm just a youtube person like i love watching vlogs so definitely she posts a lot like she posts pretty consistently and they're pretty long so i was just watching her she posted like two videos in a row so i was watching those and I could just walk forever on my walking pad watching those videos. So yeah, it is a rainy day here in Tampa. The past few days have been really rainy, so I feel like we are entering rainy season. The summers here are great, but you always kind of have a thunderstorm. Like every day there's a little short burst usually. I also really want to self tan tonight for the weekend. So yeah, nothing really new going on. I just thought I would pick up the camera and welcome you guys to the vlog since I literally haven't spoken yet. And I'm about to be engulfed in meetings for the next couple hours, so I won't get a chance to talk. But things are good around here, just, just working and getting in our exercise, all the things. I realized that tomorrow is Good Friday, so I think a lot of people have off work tomorrow which is nice but not me my company for whatever reason doesn't recognize good friday so i will be working tomorrow and will has the day off i know it's time to self tan when my makeup is too dark for my face because it usually matches good but only when i'm self tanned we did like a huge grocery haul yesterday we went to walmart and we spent almost 200 dollars. which at walmart that's a lot of stuff at Publix. that would be like three three fifty and i got some fruit you guys know i like to prep the fruit especially something that needs chopped, like strawberries. So I will chop these up and put them in a container. It just makes it easier. We eat them quicker that way. It looks like Will's already been in this though, but that's fine. And then I just wash the blueberries. I want those little colander things that you keep your fruit in. They're like glass colanders. I might order those on Amazon because we've been eating a lot of fruit lately. It's strawberry season in Florida and the strawberries are so good. And I feel like the little colanders would be nice because I do always pre-wash the fruit. I wonder if they have ones with lids because it kind of freaks me out to just have them open. But we do go through it so fast that, I don't know, I'm thinking out loud. I think I might order them. I'm gonna see what's on Amazon. And yeah, I had meetings all morning and then they got canceled because the person I had meetings with had to go for the day. They might get pushed to this afternoon, but they might not. So I'm not even mad. My meetings are delayed, canceled, whatever. And I'm gonna chop some fruit. I am getting some laundry folding done. I was just telling Will I feel a little bored. I've just been really bored this week with work. There's not a lot going on. I have a big project for work like on the horizon. I feel like it'll be next week because we're kind of towards the end of the week and 
it's not like a great time to get started on something new for me. Like I can be doing some preparation for the new project, but can't really get started on it right now. I have a few meetings I have to attend before I can get started on it. So work is kind of slow this week and there's not much going on, I don't know, around the house. I'm also just not in a great routine with the gym. I'm feeling pretty uninspired with the gym. I mean, I'm on my walking grind. I literally walk for an hour almost every day on my walking pad, but the gym itself, I'm just not very motivated to go. And I do want to, I want to do something. So I think with that, I'm leaning towards joining a studio around here. Sometimes you just need that little extra push. And the one I want to join is like a hot boot camp, hot yoga studio. And the unlimited isn't bad. The unlimited is only $140 a month, which that's like the cheapest studio I've ever heard of. A lot of them, most of them, F45, Orange Theory, Camp, for unlimited, they're closer to like 200 a month. So 140 isn't bad. And it's a three month contract when you sign up. So if I sign up, I would be locked in for three months, but I think that could be good for me just to push me because I feel like I need that external motivation right now. I don't have the internal motivation right now to get myself down to the gym and do a lift. I hate to send the money. That's like what's holding me back. But I think I do try to prioritize like my health and my fitness. So I think that is what I need right now. So I'm going to do that. I'm probably going to go join it this weekend. So I'll join that probably Saturday or Sunday will be my first class. And then I'll have that for three months, maybe longer if I'm loving it, but at least three months since that's the contract. With work, like I said, I have a pretty big project coming up starting, I think it'll be next week. So I'm solving being bored. Like the solutions are there. I'm just not quite, not quite there yet. I don't know, I was telling Will, I was like, I don't know what to do. It's, it's not warm, it's not like I, I can go lay at the pool. It's kind of rainy. I don't really have any books. If I wanted to read, I don't really have, I have one I could read, but I've already read it. So it's like I'd be rereading it. So I'm folding laundry, that was my solution. I was like, okay. The only thing I can think to do is organize some stuff and clean, that's kind of the only thing. And then I'll make lunch here in a minute. It's almost time for lunch. So that's what's going on, just reality. Sometimes there's not a lot going on, which is what I am currently dealing with. Okay, I'm starting with just these two pieces of toast. These are like end pieces, but I eat the end pieces because I like to eat all of it. And then two eggs. I might have a little bit of fruit with this, maybe some Greek yogurt and fruit like soon after, but I'm gonna start with this. I just got in my fashion pass. One thing about me is I'm gonna drop stuff. I drop everything, but I just got in my fashion pass order and they sent me the cutest little Aries handwritten birthday card. I got a lot of cute stuff, but I already canceled or paused my membership for April. So I only have like a week to wear this stuff. I'll like pause my membership whenever I don't have a lot of events. Like we don't have anything going on in April. So I paused it for April. And then if we have stuff for May, I'll unpause it. You can pause and unpause really easily. So I'll take a few months off like here and there, but got some cute stuff. I'm actually gonna try it all on. I think this is so cute. It's like the perfect summery dress, but I'm a little scared it's gonna be short on me. I'm 5'8", and a lot of the reviews said it was short, but I'm gonna try this on and try everything else on. Okay. It's short, but it's not too short. Like I think it's good for the summer. I'll probably just wear some spandex or something underneath. But I was scared because I saw one of the reviews say she wore it as a shirt because it was so short, but I don't think it's that short on me. It obviously needs steamed really bad, but I think this is super cute. We are going out to dinner this weekend in St. Pete, which is like a beachy vibe. So I thought this was the cutest little dress for that it has this like cinched middle. This is a winner. I love this top. It's like a little cow neck white top. Super cute for really anything, dinner, some jeans. Don't know if I'm sold on the skirt. They have a bunch of these Love Shack fancy frilly 
skirts on the website in a bunch of different patterns. And I thought this black one would look cute with this top, but I'm not sure if this is really my style. Funny enough, I actually think the skirt might be too short. I don't know, I might try to wear it, but I don't think I'm gonna wear this outfit. I feel like this white top would look better with just some jeans. I think, love the top, unsure about the skirt. And then lastly, I just picked up this button down because I needed one more thing. And like I said, I don't really have any events coming up, so I didn't know what to get. I thought about getting a workout set. I've been wanting to buy a blue button down just because I think I think they're so cute and I think you can just throw them on and they just add a little something to an outfit. So I liked this one because it was like this cobalt blue. Not with this outfit obviously, but I think these are so cute to just throw on over top of a casual outfit. Yeah, I think this is like the perfect blue button down. I might buy this, I wonder how much this is. I have never bought anything from Fashion Pass, but I have been tempted. You can like buy your rental items for really cheap. Well, it's still $89. I could definitely get a cheaper button down from like Amazon. I don't think I can justify $90 for this, but it is cute. Regularly $140. You can buy it off Fashion Pass for $90. That's still out of my budget, but maybe I'll look up one, see if I can find something similar on like Amazon or something. I do really like it though. It's 5.06. I'm about to shut off my computer and go on. Are you ready to call it? What? Are you ready to call it a day? Some of my friends think it is so funny that we just work all day together. We're like, what would you say? We're like 10 feet from each other? Just all day in our little space together. I actually just had a pretty good one-on-one -on -one with my manager. I have a couple small things to get done tomorrow. Um, and then my app is finally gonna be like pushed out and I'm gonna demo it for a few of our stakeholders and I can finally kind of relax with that. It's gonna be like out in production for people to use finally. And then I have another big project. I'm gonna have to start basically converting it to a new source. I don't really know how to explain it, but basically I have to convert the source from one table to another which is gonna be like a month long project probably. Yeah, everything is in a good place for it to be live before I start working on that, so that's good. I also got some blinds, which I'm so excited about. I wasn't sure if I wanted blinds because I don't want to obstruct our view, but this girl in our building is moving out and she has some and they're like, they go up on the ceiling and then they're like pull down blinds and I feel like that's perfect because they won't obstruct anything because they come down from the ceiling rather than like the sides. I am gonna t get those from her. She moves out in like a week, I think she said, so she's gonna bring them to me when she takes them off her wall. I'm excited to get those because this time of day, the sun just comes in and blinds us. We can't watch TV in the living room past from the hours of like five to nine, we literally can't use the TV in the living room, which that's the only time we would want to use the TV. So I'm excited that we got some blinds coming, but it's time for our after work routine, which is long walk. And then I'm gonna cook dinner. I'm excited. I have, we're gonna do like shaved steak stuffed peppers for dinner. I've been wanting to make these. I found the recipe on Instagram. My whole Instagram Reels feed is recipes, which is good and bad because it makes me hungry, but good because I find good recipes. So we're gonna do the steak peppers tonight. starting dinner so i've got we're doing these stuffed green peppers i have these all halved and hollowed out i'm gonna roast them for 30 minutes while i also cook up 
the steak on the stove top and we're gonna do potatoes on the side. I love these like little small potatoes. This is the filling that's gonna go in the peppers. It's shaved steak, onions. So I'm cooking this up and then when it's done and the peppers are done, you just combine it all together, add some cheese, and then you'll put it back in the oven to melt the cheese and then that is it. Pretty simple. Peppers have 13 more minutes before I can combine everything. guys I self tanned last night and I really want to wash it off but I want to get my little morning walk out of the way we're gonna begin our new routine next week of going to workout classes after work I'm really looking forward to that but today we're just back we're still on our walking grind so I want to get that out of the way so that I can go shower got my coffee I've been drinking my coffee on the walking pad like a little indoor coffee walk. If that tells you anything, I should tell you that the walks are not that difficult if I can sit there and leisurely drink my coffee, but they're better than nothing. So we're gonna get that knocked out so I can shower and then get my work day started. I have my first meeting of the day in about 10 minutes. I walked on the walking pad for almost an hour. I think it was 50, 52 minutes, something like that. Obviously got clean and now I'm about to log in for my first meeting. On the work agenda today, I have to make some small code changes having to do with how we name naming conventions. I just need to change a few things, which should not take me too long. I would say two hours max, because once you make the changes, then you have to re-run everything. So maybe two hours there, and that's the biggest thing I have to do today. And then just some more general research and educating myself for my bigger work project that's on the horizon. So that is the work plan. I have two meetings. Today, I believe. Oh, wait, I have three meetings today. Let's get our day started. I have been working for a few hours now. It's noon. I'm about to make some like eggs and toast for my lunch. I've had two out of three meetings, so I have one more actually at 12.30. And then my afternoon is pretty wide open, but I do, like I said, have some things to get done for work, mainly coding today. I don't know what we're gonna do tonight yet after work. I thought about going out to eat maybe and getting some dinner out. We'll kind of see how we're feeling. Will is like out and about because he has work off today. I think I told you guys for Good Friday. So he is like, I think he's gonna go to the pool. So I'll see if he's in the mood to go out for dinner tonight. Not sure yet. If we don't go out for dinner, I do have a recipe I can make. I can do our buffalo chicken wraps, which I've made before and they were so, so good. So we'll either make those tonight or we'll go out. Honestly, I'm not, we don't go out to eat that much, I would say once a week maybe and that encompasses like takeout going out all the things like maybe on average probably once a week usually on the weekends we'll go and it's not even because i like to go out to eat like I, I prefer to eat at home i find that i feel healthier when i eat at home i feel like just because we're usually using pretty simple whole ingredients when we cook at home versus going out obviously the meals can tend to be a little bit heavier i prefer to eat at home it also saves money like we're just we eat at home for the most part but I feel like going out to eat is just the social thing to do and it gets us out of the house so that's why we'll usually do it like once on the weekends I don't know food is just such a social thing so that's kind of when we end up going out to eat so we'll see we might 
go tonight and get something but i just need to finish up my work day okay it's always something just a little live update uh will like i said is off today he was out and about doing his thing and he was walking franklin and there's a lot of crosswalks around us and I think it's important to say that the crosswalks have like the big signs and you press the button and the lights flash and you're supposed to go. Well, Will press the button, starts walking across and our car is coming in, it slows. But then I guess she didn't see him, so she sped back up and hit Franklin. When I say hit, not bad, like clipped him. I guess it hit him and then he like jumped out of the way. I don't know, I wasn't there. So they're at the emergency vet. He obviously got Franklin home first. He's walking fine. He was just very, like, he seemed very stressed, obviously, because he got hit by a car. Um, so he's at the emergency vet now. His back foot was bleeding. It looked like the nails got clipped or something, like the nails were off. So they're doing an ultrasound and maybe an x-ray. If Will called me and was like, Franklin got hit by a car, he's like on the ground, I would be freaking the fuck out. I would not be vlogging, but like he walked, he wa he's walking, he seemed fine besides his back foot and him seeming distressed. So just waiting, texting Will. I was also in, the, in a meeting when they walked in the door, so I didn't get to go. So now I'm just kind of waiting. He seems fine, I think he's fine. They don't seem to think it's like a major emergency, but we wanted to take him to the vet just in case. Like I said, he was walking, he seemed totally fine. Even if it's just antibiotics and wrapping his back foot, like I wanna obviously make sure he's okay. I will say these crosswalks here are so freaking dangerous. Like people go all the time. I've almost been hit, but it's the weirdest thing. It's like they slow down and then I don't know if they don't see you, but they speed back up. The same thing happened to me. I didn't get hit luckily, but I put my hand on the car. Like she almost hit me. So I just, I don't know, you have to be so careful and yeah. Anyway, wait, just waiting on some updates. They are, they took him back immediately, so he should be, should be okay. It's a few hours later, I have an update. I'm heating up myself some dinner, leftovers from last night, and I was gonna stop vlogging, but I didn't want it in the vlog without a Franklin update. They said 99% he'll be okay. They do want to keep him overnight at the emergency vet. So I ended up leaving work a little bit early and we had been at the vet. We were probably there for like three hours or so. Will was there all day, but then I got there. We were there for like three hours. They did x-rays and he basically has like some contusions on his lungs and fluid in his lungs. They said it should resolve on its own, but they do want to keep him overnight just because it's respiratory. And if he went into respiratory distress, they would need to act quickly. So she said 99% he'll be okay. So that's what we're going with. 99% is good odds to me. His foot, they got that all cleaned up. And yeah, I think he's just gonna have a little bit of bruising. So that was a fun little end to our day. It's interesting end to the vlog. Yeah, he was acting totally fine, which I think is why I don't feel super concerned. It sucks, obviously, like I'm sad that he's there because I know he it makes him anxious, but. Did you put in anything about how it's crazy that people just run through those? I did, I said how dangerous they are. I will I just can't get over that. Because I, I keep looking at it being like, is this my fault? And the answer is no. No, it's not your fault. But like, it, it doesn't make me feel that much better. Yeah. I do think he'll be okay. He just has to spend the night with the vet. So I will end off this vlog here. I wanted to vlog this weekend, so hopefully I am able to do that and that everything is good. So thank you guys for watching. And I will see you so very soon in my next one. Mm -hmm.